now I should get that alert. No, nope, no alert. That music can only mean one thing. You guessed it. It's Tuesday, 6 p.m. right here, 21 6 the net, and you're live with your home, Reverend Jones. She's Reverend. I'm Jones. And who do we have in our studio today? He's Scott. Hey, Hi, everybody. Scott. <laughs> Hey, can you make me have a watch? Yeah, let's please? see if I can figure that out. Of course, uh, of course, your home with Reverend Jones is absolutely brought to you through the financial support of Natural Therapy Wellness Center, 815-385-8190, www.mchenrymassage.com. A massage, Don, can be a great way to pamper yourself. It can also help you alleviate or sometimes even cure ailments and stress that you deal with daily. Contact us today to speak to one of our certified massage therapists, Natural Therapy Wellness Center, 815-385-8190. Check them out at www.mchenrymassage.com. I think you should get me one of those massages. I need one because I threw my back out. <laughs> I'm not doing brutal. a couple's massage with you. Stop uh, it. No, I'm not you? doing it. Yes, you not doing it. Right. Now you see that share right down there? No, I, you have my phone. doesn't that's, work over there. That's where you go. Can I have my phone back? Yep. Uh, oh, where? So you just pick just, a group that you want to do that watch party. All right. You start introducing your guests. Absolutely. So with us, of course, we are blessed. We are honored to have the man, the myth, the legend, uh, the guy who runs McHenry Outdoor Theater, Scott Dean. Yes. Hey. Excited to be here. Not only that, but he's got a nice haircut, folks. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Uh, we can put our heads together and make an ass of ourselves. Well, if we could, <laughs> yes. That's all right. Uh, so uh, tell me uh, a little bit before we get started, uh, as, as people are starting to chime in and listen and, and they're going to be asking some questions, uh, what's the best, if they want more information on the outdoor theater, what's the best way to, to do that? Uh, the best way, what I would suggest is follow us on Facebook because I am constantly posting updates there. So that yeah. would be uh, McHenry Outdoor Theater at, um, or McHenry Outdoor Theater slash uh, Golden Age Cinemas, or you can just follow us online at goldenagecinemas.com. Yeah. Nice. Golden Age Cinemas. It's the best. Yeah. Like, it's it one of the best theaters ever, I have to say. Tell us about how you ended up getting the theater and uh, tell us the history. The wow. Didn't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you, like, work there as a kid or something? I, I did. Right? I worked there. This is my 20th year, actually. So uh, I started off as just kind of. I guess it would be considered a doorman at the indoor at an indoor theater. So I was just a kind doorman. of a greeter. And uh, no, I don't mean to brag, but I kind of got graduated quickly up to trunk checker. Because hey, uh, <laughs> we didn't want to. When were, I was a kid, that's where I that's was. Where they I was hide. Little, right, so right. about eight of us in there. So uh, I, even as a kid, my earliest memory is being at that theater Yeah. Uh, with my parents and grandparents. And it's one of my favorite memories. So I love the job so much that I was saying to myself, I'm like, you know, I just got to do everything I can, learn right. everything I can and make myself as uh, valuable as I can and irreplaceable. Um, so that's what I did. And uh, I mean, opportunities led to opportunities and mm -hmm. I took over in uh, January of 2012. Really? Mm -hmm. That's kind of a compressive. My son is blowing up my phone. So you have you have the outdoor theater it consists of how many acres? That's ten acres. Ten acres, mm -hmm. uh, one gigantic screen. Right. How do you get the movie up on that screen? Well, crazy, we have. Right? Uh, so if you pull into the parking lot, there's one big building in the back. Yeah. And that's the concession stand and washrooms. And then there's a smaller building in front, and that's the projection booth. So inside there, we have a uh, eight thousand watt bulb housed in this like fancy looking box. Eight. I know it's crazy. <laughs> it's really crazy. Um, and everyone asked, they're like, they're like, did you ever do uh, shadow puppets on the screen? Right. I'm did afraid you? my hand will burn off. Right. Yeah. 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 So, so, yeah, the picture that you see on the screen comes from that uh, machine inside the projection room. That is awesome. 
Now, wait, wait, but I found something out when I came to your yes. theater. You told me that there's like an apartment inside the theater. Oh, no. Did so, you know that? <laughs> what is this? You so, can, this you can neck in the car. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, it's like happy just so days. you know, just so you know, I need to I need to call out my friends Jeff and Julie Owens if they are uh, listening, which yeah. they should be. Julie had no idea what necking meant, and I what? was right horrified that she did not know what necking meant. Who doesn't so, know? Right. Exactly. <laughs> Julie Owens does not know about necking. Well, thanks for throwing her out there. Yeah. Totally <laughs> totally thanks her for joining out. us. Yes, that's okay. <laughs> oh, but yeah, so that the screen is uh, in a tower, right? Mm -hmm. And. Everyone likes to know what's in the tower, and I yeah. hate to break this to everyone, but it's storage. It's the, yeah, it's a closet. Right, there's rakes <laughs> if you're into that. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to sweep the leaves, you yeah, can go there right. and get a rake. We've got our yeah. There's probably so, rakes from every decade. So you have literally watched every movie. No, no. Here's what happens. Yeah. Okay, so when you're in this business, yes, you probably watch the movie two to three times. But you see it out of sequence, right? You know, because sometimes I'll pop out during the end, sometimes Got I'll it. pop out during the beginning. Yeah. So then at night, you know, you're still revved up from work. So you try to put those pieces together and figure out what the movie really is about, right? Which is really difficult when you get like the twist turns, you know, the you know, like a yeah. Avengers Endgame where you're trying to figure out who is who and what is what. Yeah. So Don, pull your um, shirt. Don, pull your shirt up. You're showing your age. I, oh. <laughs> Hey. So, yes, much. Stephanie, I am. Okay, wait. Before we get the show really started, we need to talk about these because how do people win these? Oh, what are oh. these? Okay. So, Scott, please yes. tell me, first of all, we are giving away prizes today, correct? So, what are these? Those are, uh, each one is a movie pass good for four people. Four people. And you four have how many four. of these There's we're giving away? There's ten of away? those. Yeah. So, we're giving away ten yeah. People for our 10 uh, four pass people, and what is all of this? Each okay, so there's 50 of those, and each one of those is good for a uh, large popcorn. All right, so, large popcorn. so and that's we, theater, popcorn. and those retail for $20 a piece. Holy right. cow! So, we're giving popcorn. away tons of them. Oh, so how do you get one? Is what people are asking. We are asking you to go on to the comments either through one of the watch parties that watch we have parties, going yeah. mm -hmm. or right here on 21 6 the net yep. online. And ask Scott a question or ask a question to Kent and I, please. Yeah. And uh, if you ask a question, and uh, we'll send you, we'll actually, we'll get you one of these and you can pick them up at the Brummer team at 1218 North Green Street in Hashtag. downtown McHenry. Hashtag let's meet on Greet. Right. Tim Santos. So the other thing we want to do is we want to throw out to the good guy, our good friend Pete Chopin of Chopin Pest Solutions. Last week came in with a bottle of tequila, and we took our Chopin shot like we said we would uh, before we the show. We did take our so, only one this time, Pete, one. because I do not want to call my son to have to pick me up like uh, I did last week because Kent got me drunk. I Oh, my I was mom was pouring. watching. Pete, I didn't mean that, Mom. Pete I didn't mean pouring. that. Pete was pouring. I was not pouring. <laughs> Pete was pouring. Right. So, all so, right. Believe it or say. not, uh, what you said about the movie, that uh, that is me with... The Wizard of Oz. I, I have okay. never seen The Wizard of Oz from front to back. Really? Seriously? No. I'm, I'm ashamed of you. How does that happen? Um, you know, because I was a little kid when when it when it, you know, and I, it scared me probably. Yeah. And then I just you know you catch bits and pieces, but I've never been able to sit front to back through it. I just that's, I can't. That's, so that's, that's I'm bad. probably I'm one of the only people I'm, in the world who have never I'm seen I'm kind of actually embarrassed of you. All right, wait. The we Wizard have some of questions. <laughs> from front to back. We have some questions for Scott. Uh, Kat Hollisher wants to know, what Ooh, was your question. first movie at the drive-in? Oh, boy. Bill and Ted. Uh, Bill and Ted. Uh, the 2012. The first that? movie ever at the drive-in? Yep. Or when he uh, took that, over. That I don't know. I, I've been trying to find that well, out. Well, how about your first movie ever? When you were when you were so 2012 you took over right so 2012 I think that was Avengers Avengers was the Avengers. first Avengers. Yes. that was a really good yeah. question Kat yeah very and good and she also says what were I oh, know that was it okay Ashley has a question um, are there plans for more concerts at the drive-in that oh, is a very good question yes are we going to unveil any secret secret news today? no well well what we do, do have know? some we do have some some lined up that i know people are excited about we got jeff tweedy from the band wilco he's going to be uh performing we've got uh trampled by turtles uh billy strings and uh so that's 
a, a set of days that we have for concerts. But yes, there's going to be some more coming out, maybe even this week, um, of what the other artists are. And it's not just limited to music artists, but we've got some pretty big name comedians that are going to be doing some shows here too. I so. will say that we're not talking about Ken, oh. but I will have to say one of the coolest things is that let's be honest, I did open for Garth Brooks. You did. <laughs> I mean, and Blake Shelton. Yes. And I mean, I'm very important just because, you know, I you, opened you for are. Garth Brooks. You are. Just saying. Uh, so we've got somebody out there as well. Okay. Uh, says uh, at, uh, all the way from California. Wow. So, Alex says, uh, so I was always the creeper in the back at the movie theaters. <laughs> Why does that not check? My us? wife doesn't like going to movies, and I love it. Would it would it be even weirder to do it in the drive-in? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you for know those what? of you who know Alex, that's, that, that's a great question, Alex. It wouldn't be abnormal. Actually, you would have you would have company, so <laughs> you're, you're okay. That is great. <laughs> All right, let's see. My watch party, my daughter says, hi, Mom. Hi, Caitlin. Sally says, hi, the outdoor is amazing. So many memories from my teen years spent there. I would have been in the trunk. That's Sally right. of That's Tim right. Santos. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Oh, Tracy West says, Scott, is it true that the screen building used to be the home of the original owners? Okay, so this is the rumor, and I know... So drive-in towers like ours, there's only uh, five left in the States that are actually towers. In the United States. In the United States, yeah. So there's 300 drive-ins left and five that have the screen towers. And those towers were built usually because it was farmers who lived there. And they, they'd they live in the screen. And then they would do the drive-in. And they would you know go about their daily life. Uh, but yeah, it's got plumbing in there. You can kind of see where things were set up. And it, it's kind of a neat little combination of historical and spooky you know like, yeah. it's kind of cool so, yeah. you should have like a haunted house thing so you're in a you're literally right so there's 300 you said left now, Correct. of course unless walmart starts doing what they right. say they're gonna right do. but for for eight years you've been in charge of a dying business and you've been making it just gangbusters yeah wow. it, you know i number one I think it was the community. Uh, there was a time where we were really facing the decision of whether to close or not because we couldn't get a digital projector. And then we went through that big contest, and um, all Don't people had to do was vote. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so everybody voted, and like we beat out theaters in Sacramento and well, San explain Francisco. the premise. So it was a, so it was uh, a it was put on by um, Honda, and it was a contest where every drive-in in the United States who didn't have digital equipment, they could uh, win digital equipment just by getting votes. So, I mean, we had votes coming in from like Vietnam and you yes. know, like- It's probably from 21.6. But they can see the screen all the way Yes. There. So it was it was really crazy that, so you, can I tell you a funny story about yeah, this? Yes. Okay, let's sure, this. So, <laughs> okay, so- We're just here for the ride. <laughs> there were five theaters that were gonna get this, right? Yeah. And there were, uh, four that had already been announced. Okay. So I was really bummed. And I was supposed to go do an interview at 1030 on a Saturday. I actually remember this story. You and I talked about it. <laughs> so I was actually supposed to go do an interview on a Saturday. And I'm like, I don't want to do this. My alarm goes off. I hit snooze. I'm like, I'm depressed over this. Yeah, I don't want to do sucks. this. So I was going to blow them off, which is not like me, but it was a bad time. So they kept calling and calling. I'm like, fine, I'll just go in. So I go in there and I had like, sweatpants on <laughs> and so i get in front of them and uh we're talking and they go uh you know now how does it feel to win digital equipment and i'm like dude i just told you for 10 minutes we're, we didn't win we're trying to and he kept repeating it and i was getting really frustrated and then this ah. woman she rips off the decal on the van and it says the honda project drive and they go no you won the equipment and i like yeah, I must blew him up. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, yeah. Listen, I told you. Can we use that as a public service it's announcement? Right. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> go to your meetings. You it's never out know there. what you're it's, getting. It's on YouTube somewhere. It's uh, it's pretty funny. Right? So that's pretty funny. Okay, uh, well, Warren asked, hey, Scott, are y'all going to have bands like some outdoor theaters are doing so they can be seen? Yeah. Oh, you know what? This weekend we do. We have uh, the Blues Brothers, B-L-O-O-Z-E. Really? Yeah, yeah nice. we've got, um, uh, as part of the Blues Brews and Barbecues, 
So we're going to open. We're going to have the Blues Brothers perform. We're going to have Barbecue Productions with their food truck. Nice. Um, and then we're going to live stream the main acts that are performing at Smith Central Garage. Oh, and yeah. then at the end of it all, we're going to celebrate with the 40th anniversary of Blues Brothers on the big That's screen. That's so, so cool. Yeah. All right. Well, that was a good question. Fan fantastic. Um, okay. We do have a question from my mom. Ooh. Um, oh, it's actually not for you, Scott. It's oh, for my <laughs> son, Sammy. Will you go see a comedian with grandma? <laughs> I don't really know if my mom knows how this works. Okay. Oh, Thanks. he wrote, of course, grandma. Thanks. Mom. All uh, right. Michelle says, love the outdoor theater. Grew up there. Where my two sets of twins were little, they were the only way we could see movies. So happy to see you guys doing so well. Thank you for keeping it going. Um, my mother says, when we were teens, we used to put people in the trunk to get more of us into the drive-in. Do people <laughs> yeah. still do that? That was you know, a good not, question, Mom. Not so much anymore. Um, Are we you used, checking trunks? We used to. We don't anymore because it's become so rare that that happens. Um, but... I mean, these kids try to sneak in, and they're pretty uh, pretty creative with ways that they try to sneak in. But I mean, I know every trick. I lived in McHenry. I got in for I, mean, I, I got in for free. Twenty right. years, right? After so, twenty years, I think you know so all the stop, tricks. Stop trying, because like, I know trying. every trick in the book. Yeah, that's, that's hilarious. Um, go ahead. So, at what point did, did, does the smell of that popcorn? make you sick oh, man. i mean this is you've been there been running this place for eight eight years you've been working there for 20 and the smell of theater popcorn usually for me makes me saliva and right you, right right but it's got to be like oh god no i mean it's popcorn. it smells like work and i love my work yeah but it does yeah. smell like work here's the problem though so i have everybody's got a set of work clothes right yeah so i have two closets one that has the popcorn clothes and one that I don't <laughs> want to smell like popcorn, you know? Yeah. So I got to keep them separate. Otherwise, everything smells like butter, that is butter flavored topping. That's, that's pretty funny. So um, I did have a question that came in when we were advertising for you showing up. Kyle Oldham wanted to know, what is your favorite movie? All right. Uh, my favorite movie, definitely Blade Runner. And... I know the sequel just came out recently, but I'm going to count it as one movie. So Blade Runner and Blade Runner 2049. Absolutely. Really? Yeah. It's good. Lawrence of Arabia would be up there and uh, Vertigo for sure. But yeah, I got to say Blade Runner. Really? What's your favorite movie? Tombstone. Pants down. Yeah. Tombstone and then the entire Star Wars saga. The original, all of it? Really? Yeah. 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 Like yeah. all of it. The, the original three, of course. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah. I, I, I can sit and watch those for hours and hours now. Oh, same here. Yeah. No, no, you know, I'm not a big George Jar Binks fan. That was probably the worst one. Yeah. Yeah. That's tough. That's a but, tough one. But I, yeah, I'm a, I'm just a Star Wars uh, nut. But yeah, I, my wife and daughters will leave the room when Tombstone comes on because I'm like, I am into that movie. And, and you I know can see it lines. over and over and over yeah. and over again. Oh, and God. even though you know what's going to happen, it uh, doesn't bother you. Yeah. I know the lines. Yeah. Do you say them along when you're sitting sometimes in the Sometimes you do, don't you? Yeah. Um, like, yeah. who are you talking to, Kent? Oh, yeah, I'm <laughs> doing a role. Sometimes. I'm auditioning. I got, I got <laughs> that, each of you. that image is coming. Yeah. I always say the life Stephanie of Stephanie Cowley, do you, ever, do you ever bring food trucks into the theater? Uh, well, we'll have one this Saturday. And can you uh, drink there? Uh, you can. Um, yeah, Adults. you can bring your own as long as you're being responsible. And uh, everybody, for yeah. the most part, is. But sure. Uh, but food trucks I typically don't bring in because uh, really the lifeline for the theater is... The concession stand, yeah. yeah. And cool. and, a, and a food truck. A lot of people don't understand a food trucks. They they you contract them out. You got to sell so much, or you exactly own, right. Or you own. right. And is there really? I mean, it's popcorn. Popcorn, maybe a hot dog. I mean, that's what you're eating at the movie theater. Right. Right. right? You're not you're going up to a truck and grabbing a taco or something. Yeah. That's not movie food. All right. Uh, Stephanie also wants to know. Can you drink at the theater? Yeah, we just said that. Where were you? Just, just saying. Yeah. I was just saying. We, we just went Can through you that. Sneak responsibly. What? Responsibly. What about pets? You? Oh, yeah. We're totally pet friendly. Yeah. Totally pet friendly. Yes. So yeah. you can bring your Great Dane to the drive-in. We, we encourage you to bring your Great Dane, yeah. Is there like a poop section? Uh, people usually walk them in the back grass back area. Back by where Alex is parked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, Lurking in the back. <laughs> 
<laughs> Alex is the pooper scooper. Is that what you're saying? And we so hope really, that... you can really bring. Oh, I can't yeah. let people know that. Yeah, no, we're definitely we're pet friendly. There's they bring. I mean, there's you, a ton they, of they can be non therapeutic dogs. They just right. So like right. any dog. Pets enjoy movies as well. That's yeah. really exciting. Yeah. So uh, with us uh, today, we've got uh, Scott Dean, and he is the owner and the entrepreneur who runs the McHenry Outdoor Theater. If people want to know more about what you do, how you do it, have questions for you, how do they get in touch with you? Yeah, uh, go to Facebook, uh, McHenry Outdoor Theater dash Golden Age Cinemas, or just go to GoldenAgeCinemas.com. And if they want to call and say, what's playing or what can you do? You what, get what, Kramer. Uh, we, you get Kramer. Yeah. <laughs> press one. Press one for channel. <laughs> you press one. Yeah. No? I love that. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set Scott up here for a question. Uh, Scott, what's your favorite preview that you have playing at the McHenry oh, Outdoor no. Theater? You know what is that? Your no, your ad. Seriously, it, it, the best my favorite part more. is. So I have to be outside for it because it's it's different with every crowd. <laughs> so they they just get done with like all these ads, right? And right. All that, and then they're like, "Oh, your your ad comes on." They don't think it's an ad because right, you have the green like, screen, right. right? And so they all get like settled down, and you can hear like the noise level go from here to here, uh -huh. and then you're uh, it, even in the beginning, is. it still seems like a you know, a, a trailer, yeah. And then all of a sudden, I used to just see people like look at each other, like <laughs> this is yeah. this is a commercial. I have to tell you that is from Tim Santos from Health Markets. Uh, I will tell you, he I don't know, he must not have slept that night, but he just actually emailed it to me or messaged me in the morning and said, "Look what I made you," and it went to that. And, and my favorite part is the very end where it has like the you know the, the credits, credits where it says, "I think he says neighborhood <laughs> productions yes. or something." It's yeah. hilarious. He does. He did great. So that it's really, really cool. All right, let's see. Stephanie yeah. asks, "Can you drink at the?" <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for um, a new co-host. Uh, your host is Bremer and not Ken. Yeah, Bill and. Um, all right, Kat says, "Any comedian hints? Maybe the machine." The machine. Um, well, I can tell you. I'll, I'll tell you someone who we were s this close to to getting, and it it just didn't work. But it'll kind of make you see what kind of uh, talent we're, we're shooting for. Hannibal Burris. Anybody know Hannibal Burris? Mm -hmm. He was in, uh, he was in the movie tag. Uh, he was in a, a few different TV shows. Um, actually, I just saw him on who wants to be a millionaire. The, uh, uh, the new one, the new one. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So he was supposed to come out. Um, we almost had Sal from practical jokers. Oh, that's so, cool. so it's, they're, they're really recognizable names and they, they're like us. They want to get out, you know, because oh, they have sure. nowhere to play. So yeah. they're they're more than happy to uh, to play at the um, at the drive-in. Oh, the, the other one was uh, I was really upset that this one fell through. But Jim Gaffigan. Oh, yeah. So he was said he was going to do a drive-in tour, but yeah, then he was... then he said that his uh, he can't do it because his wife who travels with them is immune deficient. And okay, I mean that's fair, right? But. Didn't you know that before you announced that you were I mean, doing probably, the tour? Probably. <laughs> yeah, so that yeah, was definitely. sad. All right, somebody else wants to know, what time does the movie usually start and what time, and you're still doing double shows? Yes, we'll always do double shows. Um, so but, what are the times usually? Well, it changes week to week because the sunset changes week to week. So uh, that's why I would go to just go to our Facebook page and I always put on there exactly what time the movie will start. Um, as as far as maybe giving you a time to get there, oh, it's it's been so hard. I would try to get there at least two hours before showtime. Okay. Before showtime. Okay. Yeah, enjoy. And what are your COVID policies? Talk about that because uh, that's a big issue going on. Yeah. So how do you yeah. are you spacing cars out? Or? Right. Well, we typically have a capacity of nine hundred cars, uh, but we've only been doing four fifty this season. Oh, okay. Uh, so and you're right. So in yeah, between the two space. speaker poles, usually we park two cars. Instead, we park one in the center, and they can sit, you know, in front of their cars and all that. And it gives them a good twelve to fourteen feet of social distancing. So they don't have to wear masks if they're. If outside? you're within six feet of your car, no. Okay. Once you leave that six feet boundary so of your vehicle, so to go to the concession stand or the wear, bathroom, yep, you have to wear a mask. And you have to wear a mask. And yeah. are there? Um, do you have it spaced out so that people are waiting six, in yep, line? Yep, six feet. Yes. Okay. Very cool. So I think that 
that's a good thing to know because I think a lot of people think, you know, who wants to go to the drive-in and have to wear their mask? Right. So it's good to know that you actually don't as long as you're with Right, as long as you stay in your area. Stuff. Yeah, and everybody's been great with it. Uh, we also, I mean, we have hand-washing stations set up um, so you can use those. But uh, at, it's it's maybe a little overkill because we're doing a little more than what's been requested, but better you know, safe than sorry. Right, right. right. And, and you care about you care about your patrons. Absolutely. So somebody uh, comment here says uh, Stephanie Conley. Uh, she doesn't get like fifty four pack tickets for asking all these questions, uh, right? I mean, <laughs> she, what is she planning her twenty twenty one vacation? I think she's, around plan- these she's I think she's planning <laughs> Eli's birthday party with these and then, uh, one per question. Hannibal Burris. Also, the guy who ousted the, the Bill Cosby scam. Oh, oh, right, right. Yeah. That'd be good. I don't say, don't say oh, like you. I, feel, that. I mean, I, I did. I was. I did. I. I mean, I. You did great. That. I love that. Um, okay, Lisa Parrot says, "Can you buy tickets online? I've seen a crazy long line to get in many times, and it tends to deter me from waiting with wild kids in my car." Yeah, unfortunately, we can't really pre-sell tickets, uh, and, and here's the reason why. So let's say, let's say you bought a ticket. Yeah. You pre-buy a ticket. Um, and then I sell out because I go by car count, right? So conceivably, you could have bought a ticket and I'm already sold out. Sure. Because one ticket doesn't equate to one car or, you know what I mean? Right. So it's, there's really no way to do it fairly or to do advanced sales like that. Or all of a sudden, I don't show up because something else came. Right, right. So when, uh, you're, when you're limited, especially with COVID, then exactly money out of your pocket. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, we do have pre-sales, uh, but again, this doesn't concern me. This is, so when we do the concerts, I lease out the land and they do their concerts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they can do pre-sales because they're selling by the car, you know, a um, hundred dollars a car, or $40 a car. They can keep track of it. That's right. easy. So, right. but the, the studios won't let me do car load pricing except on Tuesdays. Got it. Um, Ken Stephanie has another question over here. What does it say? Can you order the concessions? Are your eyes that bad? Yeah. Can you order the concessions from your car and pick up at the window? No. <laughs> I mean, you can, but you'd you, be yelling a lot. Right. <laughs> Lord, Lord, you know what? Just strictly because of the sheer volume of people, uh, we it, our, our concession stand isn't can't handle that amount of uh, stress. We can handle what we have now, which is just getting through the regular line. Right. So let's get down. It's We're about at the bottom of the hour, but let's get down to brass tacks. We are swag whores here. <laughs> oh. We love to support the the businesses and the people around the community who come here. And we've, we've gotten some nice swag, beautiful mm-hmm. hat and tequila last week. We've got... Uh, camera that uh, you know watches a place nice back scratcher from oh good back point. scratcher from Tim uh, Santos, Tim Santos. Oh, wow. some tequila to get me drunk on what, uh, what oh don't forget the security system right what did you bring okay what, what did I, you bring brother what I got so these are relics oh my god so this so is I know, so this I is a uh, you know the speakers that you would take <laughs> off the pole put right. in your car. But these it's are the, the originals deal. from 1947. It's got the McKenna. Oh, I mean, are we the coolest people Man, ever? that's awesome. So the, there's one for you and one for you. Ah, look at this. That's so cool. Look at that. How <laughs> cool is that? Scott, yeah, thank awesome. you so much. This is welcome. really no, this cool. This is really, really cool. Does it, oh, it does say the McHenry Outdoor oh, Theater. Yeah, that's been on there for a while. Oh, what is that? That is right. so cool. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. This might be. Uh... So they don't use these anymore. Well, okay. no, you know what? We do use them, but we that's another COVID thing. Because where do you put those? Right. In right. your car. Right on the car. So then we'd have to disinfect them all. And so yeah. we don't even turn them on. It's you just listen through your stereo. So you didn't take this off. So you can blow oh, them. No, no. So, <laughs> so you do we need to give it back? Uh, no. It, it, everything is run through an FM signal. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, and then what I did this year, knowing that we couldn't use these, is I put speakers on the exterior of each building so you could get hear. a little boom. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I mean, when I when I watch, so a movie, I get there and I pop my car on, uh, and, and I gotta I gotta pop my FM to uh, eighty nine point nine. Eighty nine point nine. That is it. 
Yeah, COVID does suck. I agree with that. Ashley, oh, yeah. Ashley, you are very right. Very, very right. Uh, now, uh, you you absolutely have the pleasure, folks, of listening to 216 and that. You're home with Bremer and Jones. Donna, people want to know what you do, how you do it over there at the Bremer team. How do they get in touch with you? They're going to call me at 847-456-6334. Uh, go to bremerteam.com. Check us out on Facebook at the Bremer team. Or um, email me at bremerteam18 at gmail.com. Stop by and play with my kiosk. It's cool. It's a lot a of cool people do. It, it really is. It's yeah. a really cool kiosk. So come on down and play. And Kent, what about you? You know what? Just reach right out to us here. 216thenet.com. You can reach me at Kent, K-E-N-T, 216thenet.com. Or shoot us uh, an email at 216thenet at gmail. So we're giving away passes, just so people who are just tuning in may know that we are, we have three more left of the passes for four people to access, and we have a bunch of large popcorns worth yeah. twenty dollars each. So ask some questions. Be appropriate. And by the way, we're being sarcastic. Like popcorns don't cost twenty bucks. I know. He's Yet, but they are delicious. But they are. <laughs> right. um, They're worth it. That's what we should be having right now. Is Oh, I should have brought some. Yeah, well, yeah. Too late now. Well, you, you Start over. Do over. <laughs> uh, and of course. So uh, ask your questions to get these. Sorry. Of course, uh, your home with Berman Jones brought to you through the financial support of Natural Therapy Wellness Center. 815-385-8190. www.mchenrymassage.com. I will tell you, there's nothing better to do than go get a massage over at Natural Therapy Wellness Center. And then go watch a movie while you're relaxed. I mean, so that was hands down. Right. Go get a little, go get a hot stone therapy thing, a dinger over there at, at Natural Therapy Wellness. John and his team will take good care of you. You're going to be relaxed anyway. Take your Ooh. chair. Go over and watch the movie. What's playing this week? Uh, well, let's see. Friday, American Graffiti and Blues Brothers. And then we got the Blues Brews and Barbecues on Saturday. On Saturday. Yeah. Boom, boom, All right. Boom, boom. I have, I think, the best question oh no <laughs> you, i mean this one should you be have getting, a, that smile i no. mean <laughs> yeah uh liz pfeiffer would like to know how much dirty stuff have you seen oh, okay you know what yeah. here's, <laughs> here's, here's come on this is this is how i answer give this. us give us a question so wait stories. so in the beginning um when i was there the drive-in was not the family place that it is now. It took, it took, I mean, there was. Because Alex was there. There's a lot of stuff. Learning. So I would say that we didn't really get transitioned fully into the family friendly place until about 2008, 2009. Uh -huh. So anyway, so here's what I tell people. I go, look, I'll make my living running the theaters, but I'm going to retire on the book that I write of everything that I've seen there. Oh God, you gotta give us <laughs> so listen, great. just for those of you who are tuning in and don't know, we oh. are inappropriate. Listen, <laughs> he has probably seen half the population of McHenry conceived. Okay. That's possible. But I would like to know your favorite story of that. Of that? I mean, what is the worst thing you've seen? I don't know if it's the worst, but it's definitely the most memorable so oh man should i be even sharing that? okay i'm going oh to. you are so, so sharing it can't yeah you started again you started it. it's not like this today so okay so if you go inside the tower there's a ladder that goes all the way up right to the roof okay. of the tower and you know how tall that tower is yeah, yeah. It's huge. so i find a door open i'm like that's weird so i go in and i can like hear i like to go i like i'm not afraid of heights i like going up to uh -huh. so I thought I could hear stuff and I couldn't see that the hatch is open to the roof. So I go up there and sure enough, these two daredevils <laughs> pried open the door, went up on the roof of the tower and were having whoopee. some fun. Yeah. Making whoopee or necking? They were that necking. Yeah. Doesn't know what that means. Uh, so whoopee. I'm standing there and they didn't even know I was there. And I'm like, that is I didn't like, know what to say. What do you say to that? Yeah. Like, hey, <laughs> you know, like, how are you guys doing? Excuse like, me. <laughs> Ticket. <laughs> Where's your ticket, please? Ticket. So that was that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Well, after after watching for about seven minutes, I would have been like, <laughs> right. Can you would have watched for seven minutes? That is minutes. amazing stamina. With your popcorn? <laughs> yeah. That's amazing stamina oh there, young man. But 
Oh my god, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. I can only imagine what you have seen. Oh yeah. Can't, who cleans up around all the floors? Yeah. It'll just stop talking. Okay. <laughs> uh, Susie wants to know, Susie Levenberg says, what concessions will you be able to buy? Oh, uh, boy, we've got really good food. Uh, we've got uh, 100% Angus burgers, cheeseburgers, hot dogs, jumbo pretzels, nachos. Oh, can't beat the um, You got... You, you have jalapenos for this? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, yep, yeah, jalapenos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got uh, popcorn, oh, candy, nothing, ice cream. Nothing more infuriating. You go someplace like, hey, we got nachos, and it's just cheese and chips. Oh, I yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. you got to have a little bit with the jalapenos. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you've yeah, got a so, lot of stuff. So, yeah, quite a bit of stuff. They got All some right. Mike and Ike's. They got some Juju. Oh, okay. my favorite. I left my favorite off. We have Guinness beer brats. And, oh, man. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Diane Peter says, when did you... Uh, when do you post what the next movie is? Uh, as soon as I get it booked. And I usually do my movie bookings on Monday. So Monday, once I negotiate and get a contract and everything is good, um, I immediately post it to Facebook and say, here's what's coming. And then I mix a n- number of posts throughout the week. Did anybody get some uh, nice from Diane when she was here? Why, why are you my, asking? MySpace or whatever. My, right? Whatever they call that. I thought she'd give us some good swag too. I mean, they're, they're awesome. They right. they actually, I think they gave me swag. I think so. Not you. Right. I, don't think I, I mean, it. you yeah. didn't get swag. I got a free house. Oh. Uh, which Whoa. I'm about to claim. Not that I'm getting a house, a house photography session. Right. Nice. Um, no, Tracy uh, Wilkins, no uh, reservations. you got to get there and wait in line. And, right. and it's first come, first serve. This, yep. isn't, this isn't like going to an indoor theater. This is this is an event. You got to get there a couple hours early. Yep. Mm-hmm. You got to do a little tailgating. You got you to gotta, you know, go grab a burger and a brat from the concession store. You know, yeah, I mean, it's get in your zero gravity chair. When we get to January or February, you're gonna wish that you had two hours out in the sun. Um, right, so take advantage of it. It's, it's, I mean, it really is beautiful to like sit there and see, you know, stars and the sunset behind the screen. It's a beautiful place. And this year, the mosquitoes have not been bad. No, it's beautiful. I've got the best cure for mosquitoes. Okay, what is this? Was handed down from generation to generation. All right, listen up, people. So here's hear it first on the the Bremer. (laughs) Right, right. Wait, we have to disclose. You hear it first on your home with Bremer. Here's what we do, and I mean, there's always going to be mosquitoes, but it'd be a whole lot worse. Uh, It's a, it's a lot worse when we don't do this. So we have popcorn left over at the end of the night. Instead of throwing it out, we sprinkle it along the fence line, which brings in the birds who don't just eat the popcorn but eat the mosquitoes and the larvae. So, brilliant. genius, chemical free, brilliant, genius. And then, right. and that's only if the dogs that you bring <laughs> go around right? the fence yeah. peeing on it and then yeah. eating it. That's brilliant. Yeah. That's great. Um, okay, can you bring a Smoky Joe and tailgate? No, unfortunately, I mean, we you can you can't use it. Yeah, <laughs> you can bring lots friends. of things that we don't allow. <laughs> right. um, we can't. We just it, per the fire department uh, for open flame, and yeah, unfortunately, yeah, we can't Diane do that. says it's her favorite thing to do in the summer. Aww. She might win a something. She Diane deserves. One. Oh, she already oh, got one. See, good thing that Diane. Uh huh. She's great. See? And um, and again, pick these up down down on Green Street over at the Bremer team. Yep. Yeah. And before the show ends, I will um, tell everybody who should be coming on down. All right. Stephanie Conley, can you read this one? Uh, do you shit in the theater? Okay. <laughs> do, <laughs> so, just stop talking. Do you shut the theater down the same time every year, or do you stay open as long as the weather holds out? No, I, I do the same time every year, which is our it's last day is always the, the uh, right. Yeah. right. Uh, we go through Halloween. Um and the reason I've I've been tempted to go a little bit into November, but it takes a good two weeks to adequately close the place down and winterize it. So, through through the end of of October. So, what do you do in the off season then? I mean, do you go down south and uh, live in another theater, outdoor theater? I mean, what is it? No, well, I used to have a bunch of little downtown indoor theaters. Um, I just I had one in Libertyville, um, Zion, Antioch. Uh, I don't know, a, a bunch of ones all over the place. And so those would keep me busy. Um, but now I just wanted to focus on the drive-in. And what I'm excited about is once November 1st hits, 
like every all these ideas that I've had that I've wanted to try, like I have the time to do them now. I've got six months to just pursue other avenues that I haven't been able to because I didn't have the time, you know, with this. It's like a serious teacher. You'd have to, you're off. It's wonderful. You know what, though? And here's and here's what I think you should do. It probably would be very expensive and you'd lose a lot of money. But <laughs> Tell me, what here's, you, here's what you I want you to think about. Like, you know how they do the polar plunge? You should just yeah. do like a polar movie. One Just one, one day out in the freezing cold, watch a movie and get them. Give them a badge or something. Give them a badge. <laughs> or do it. Do it for, do it, you know, you raise know, money for something. You know, the polar plunge works because you jump in and you run back out and get into hot, warm towels. I've never done it. Standing outside for two hours watching a movie. It would be awesome. People would lose toes. Oh, yeah. And there'd be you're lawsuits. Pull, you're pulling you make your... it sound like we don't want that. Right. I mean, I'm you, just you pull saying. In, you pull in what on kind your snowmobile you or your quad, right? right? Your your side by side whatever man you get all these uh, vehicles in there that aren't in there, just one movie, boom. Yeah, like that, on the yeah. coldest day of the year. On the coldest day of the year. Wow, that's Think about this, no, you know, <laughs> this, the funny thing is that would probably sell out. <laughs> it, 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 okay, moving on. And then you, and then you <laughs> donate, right? You donate some. Why not? To yeah, ALS. Scott's gonna right. do it. Scott's gonna totally do something. And I'm going to say, like, in the paper, it was all my idea. That's right. Take it. Take it. Take it. You don't want to get us involved. You don't want people to show up. I was going to say, if it comes from Kent, people will be like, yeah. Yeah. Scott, I got a great idea. Some Some people might die. You might lose money, but listen to me. Right. Just make sure that nobody comes around with black toe. Oh, my God. Nobody no, black, black toe. toe. Good old black toe. Oh black toe Smith. God. That's the name of the event. Black toe. Uh, what? What? That should be the name of the event. Black toe. Black toe. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. We're black. on to something. Can black. we come as your special guest? Oh, you're participants. That's it. That's We're it. At, you heard it here first, folks. You don't plow it. You don't plow the parking or anything. No. They come in with their sleds or whatever. Just let them go, yeah. Sleds. yeah. Maybe they can... Um, Go on their uh, jet ski. I mean, their um, a jet ski. Jet ski, not right. a jet ski. <laughs> that'd be interesting. Snowmobile. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm saying. That'd be kind of fun. That's what a sled, a sled is. Sled? Is that what it yeah. is? I yeah. thought maybe you were talking about a pole sled. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> walk under Come toboggan. in with their toboggan and their saucer. <laughs> Absolutely, that's... it's just an idea. No, hey, I'm. Think about it. Project Black okay. is on. So I have Black one. Black Here it is. Toe. I have one four pass left. For whoever in the next, let's see here, 20 minutes, give Scott the best idea for the outdoor theater. Ooh. Kent and I will pick it. I like Pro- Project Black too. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can't win. We cannot win this prize, although we all know yeah. we are the winners and we did pick the right. best option. We also have some more popcorn for anybody who has questions. More popcorn we there. have lots more popcorn. Do you have any questions for Scott? So I do. Um, so the, in the past, it's been kind of an old old movie, new new movie, new release, old release kind of a thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, right. and now there's no <laughs> new releases, right? right? Uh, so now it's kind of old movie, old movie. But how do you pair those up? How do you, right? Because they're usually double headers. Correct. Right. So I, I like to theme the okay. night. So like opening weekend this, this year was... Uh, the Flintstones and Jurassic Park. So we had a prehistoric double prehistoric, feature. Prehistoric, right? Um, what did I just have? Uh, oh, we had uh, Steven Spielberg weekend with Hook and Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Yeah, yeah. So I, I find that if you can theme it, people are more likely to stay for both movies because right. it, it's not just we're here for Hook. Like when we play new movies, like you're saying, we would play the new one and then the older one. I mean, a lot of people leave after the Absolutely. older one because they've seen it. You know? Right. So if you theme it, you make it almost like a party atmosphere. I love that idea. That's know? really yeah. kind of a great idea. We should do that with our station. So, Scott, that's what we should do. Scott, what's going on in the movie theater industry with when will we see new movies again? What's uh, going on with those? You'll see new movies. Um, well, right now, Unhinged with Russell Crowe had uh, a little bit of a theatrical run. Um, Bill and Ted 3 is coming out. But that's going to come out in theaters 
on the same day that you can watch it at home on video on demand. So, it's so weird, right? That doesn't but, yeah. work. Uh, the only the only big big release is Christopher Nolan's Tenet. I don't know if you've seen commercials for that. Mm-hmm. That comes out uh, next Friday, and that's going to be the first big. Hey, we're opening the theaters. What's the movie about? Uh, did you ever see Inception? Nope. No. Nope. Where? where, where Listen, man. Here. How about God. Interstellar? Hand to God. Nope. Here's nope. the God's honest truth: is I am the. I'm not a movie guy. Really? I don't movie. Oh. And and people always ask, they're like, "What?" I'm like. You know, I, I probably had ADHD when I was a kid or whatever. I was just hyper. But sitting and, and doing something for an hour and a half or, or three hours, I'm falling. If I stop that long, I'm, I'm snoring. <laughs> right. right. So I'm not a. I, except for Tombstone. Except for Tombstone. Tombstone, Tombstone and, the, and the Star Wars, I can. Now, I did, I did sit through The Last Dance, uh, those 10 episodes. I thought that was an interesting thing with Michael Jordan. I don't like Michael Jordan, but I, I had to watch it. Uh, but yeah, so I, and I'm not a big, uh, so when I read books and things like that, no fiction, I'm, I, I love history. I, I do those things. So, okay. uh, if, if it has anything to do with the mafia, it has to, like, I went and watched Titanic because of the history of it. Right. Now I was the guy sitting there going, they have hypothermia. They would not be running through this water that much. My, my wife's like, shut up. <laughs> this is so fake. Right. You know, the, I'm that guy. Oh, yeah. That, that explains so and, much about you. And I'm also, and I'm also this guy. He did it. And my wife's like, I hate coming to movies. You're just an idiot. You ruin everything. No, no, he did it. Watch, he's the one. Wow. And then he did it, and, and you're did. like, aha, uh-huh, I, I told you. Right, right. So I'm. Uh, but but people ask, and I'm like, no. Now I will say this. I do enjoy the stupid, nonsensical movies that you don't ever have to think about. You know, like. Uh, uh, Bill and Ted, yeah, or, and or anything with Chris Farley, you know those uh, that that the ones that you you don't have to think about, and you laugh right. because you're just like, this is so stupid, it's funny. Right. Okay. But but I won't, uh, you know, like I I, ne- I never watch any scary movies. I will not. I me neither. I'm petrified of them. I I, I I I don't watch any romantic ones. I, no rom coms. No. Oh, really? I watch it all. Well, you have to. It's kind of kind of your job. <laughs> Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm but, not yeah. a scary person. I've never seen Nightmare on Elm Street. I've oh. never seen any of that stuff. I'm going to do a marathon, and it's going to be just for you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, guess who won't be there? <laughs> Where is Dawn? Yeah, for it's supposed to start an hour ago. <laughs> Although I do have enough upper in, to, That's uh, true. Yeah. be honest. Right. Oh, just so, yeah, so you a, lot did. Of, a lot of my friends, like I have friends who, who are so into movies that they they – they name the actors like they're their friends because they see. I mean, Alex. I uh, totally Alex, do who is Alex, is like the biggest. He's one of the biggest movie buffs I've ever seen. He absolutely, really? he could not believe that I don't watch movies, but he watches so many movies. I mean, if, you know, it, it, it's crazy, and he knows all the actors and actresses, and you know. Does he say the lines of the movies too? Uh, some of them, some of them, I would imagine, but. It, he literally that's where he does a lot of uh work so when he says he creeps he takes his he takes his laptop and he sits in the back and he'll watch movies while he's while he's working Uh oh i i got i have a good idea yeah all right kevin pfeiffer says open it up to a Fortnite or other video game tournament blow it up on the screen and then You've got it. I I've thought about that. I mean, that's genius. That's a genius idea. And you genius, know, here's the thing. Kevin Pfeiffer, he's the winner. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hands down. Everybody oh, totally. plays Fortnite. I don't even, even my know what friend Fortnite is. my friend Courtney plays it as like Godmom or so something. So would people like that. view like park to watch this happen? Yes, would people they really? would watch it. Yes. Oh, they're huge. The, yes. the, the gaming tournaments are huge. Really? Because see, here's what I do. Like before the season when we're only open on Fridays and Saturdays, mm-hmm. I've sat on the roof of the projection building playing like grand theft auto but then then i stopped because i'm like maybe the prostitute walking into my car shouldn't be seen from the cars driving down lincoln road you know (laughs) (laughs) for a second i was like why are you talking about the prostitutes there God, holy crap. But it is, is fun to play. Genius it idea. is. Yeah, it is. You know, people have those Fortnite tournaments all over the place. So what do you do? Do like a raffle for who gets to I actually play? Kevin, 
Kevin, I want details, how Kevin. How does this work, Kevin? We yeah, need to we, discuss we, this. What we want to do is set up a lunch. With yes, you Kevin. Are you yeah. In, but it makes so much sense. Like, that is a genius idea. Right. And the kids, you bring the kids. Oh, so that's good, but black toe isn't. Black toe is stupid. <laughs> Who wants to lose their damn toes watching a movie that you won't even sit through? <laughs> yeah, for charity. Charity? Hey, hey. Everybody, who would like to come to the outdoor movie theater to lose your toes and turn them black? For, right. for, charity. for charity. You keep forgetting that part. Right. You're leaving that up. All right. Hold on a second. Stephanie says you would have to have the computer for the terminal off-site. They can't be in the field. I'm not sure why. Stephanie, why can't it be in the field, Stephanie? More details. More details. We're on to something genius here. Oh, for the tournament. Yes. I don't understand. I don't know, but maybe... Maybe it's not that oh, fast. I get Wi-Fi. what she's saying. Yeah. I get what she's saying. So they play it and you like, you know, I've seen those Fortnite tournaments where there's but the square need, boxes and everybody's need, but playing. You need, but you need oh. fast internet. Yeah, the, the participants couldn't be there. You'd no, be the participants watching. would be at the home and you'd be yeah. watching it and be kind of cool. I think that's a genius idea. I really do think that's a genius so, idea. Would you go? I, my son would go in a heartbeat. That's not what I asked. Well, I would have Answer to use the a He doesn't drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would you go? No, I wouldn't. But what, what happens if it was even, done? What happens if it was on Black Doe night? Would you go? Yeah, maybe. Oh, maybe. Yeah. And I hate the winner, but Black Doe had support. He'll wait in line <laughs> for that one. So here's here's uh, here's an interesting thing. Okay. Back in the eighties, um, my dad uh, was a, a pastor of a small uh, church, and in Burlington, Iowa, and they had the drive-in theater. And the early service on Sunday was at the driver's was it theater. Early? So, so that people would pull up in their car, and there was like a, a stage, you know, scaffolding in front of the screen. Yeah, really. And and they would, they my dad would do the entire service from there, and then he'd hop down, and as they're exiting, give them communion. Really? See, we were going to in April. Um, when COVID was really, you know, yeah. hitting hard. And we're scared of it. Yeah. And uh, so I got a lot of phone calls. We were really close on making this happen, but they wanted to do Easter services. Yeah. And yeah. do it at the drive-in. Um, yeah. And for a variety of different reasons, they didn't want to. Some of the, you know, older members of the congregation. But uh, I thought that was a great idea. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, cool. you should do something like that. I, think it's a great I, I would be, I would do it. So that's an idea. You should uh, you should have air the GSL tournament for StarCraft. It was in Korea. Well, Thank here you go. I'm th- telling th- you, thank Stephanie's, you. Thank you, Stephanie. Stephanie's I don't know what husband any of that means. is well. Stephanie's husband is a pro gamer. A pro gamer. Yeah. So that's who you just met. Um, she yes, was she here. Was you remember the oh, that's her. Yeah, okay. You parked next to her dinger car. Oh, the, yeah. right now I remember. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you'd think you'd know how to park when you have a movie van or drive in, but um, so Stephanie <laughs> says. That, so you should. She should be somebody you should hook up with, have a lunch and uh, connect, and maybe she can teach you how to do this. It sounds like it's an interesting thought. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So you can do church services. You can do gaming services. We've come up with all sorts of good ideas and, right? bad, and bad ones too. Look at that, and we still have eight minutes left to come up with any other it? ideas. Can you trump Kevin Pfeiffer's? Uh, Fortnite idea. Anyone? Operation Black Toe. I mean, it's I, I, it's I, at least in second place, right? Well, but here's the whole thing: is you could you could do that, and there's only 300 of them. Now, some of them are in warm climates, right? But you could still do Operation Black Toe on the same same day at all 300, and just think of the money you'd raise. For so, have all the drive-ins in the U.S. do right Project Black Toe? Yeah. <laughs> Right now, some of them aren't going to get cold, but but most of them will survive. Most of them will, survive. and I think that's a plus. I mean, it is true. I mean, if we're going to, it's, it's going to be especially for Jared. Right? Seriously, I can picture Tim Santos starting hashtag Save the Toes. <laughs> that's it. Can't you picture Tim Santos fixing that? He's such a community activist. He's totally going to do that. Well, hey, you know, I think. It, I, they do the you know, they do the I things swear things. to you, I'm going to go on our Facebook page tonight, and somebody will have that hashtag going. I, I know it's going to happen. Yeah. Hashtag <laughs> save the tears. It's probably going to be Tim Santos. That is it. So 
I think you should do a Facebook post and ask people if they'd be interested. And just see what happens. Okay, I can do that. I think you should do it. I got to see if it'll work first. Yes. I mean, yeah. See if it'll work. Talk to Stephanie Conley. Uh, what about from uh, Steph's bookkeeping? What about just a giant Zoom meeting? <laughs> yeah, maybe I can have, have, have be, my next Zoom uh, awesome. networking group there. Right? I have never thought of that. <laughs> just one giant Zoom. People driving by like about nothing. Right. Just, right. A Zoom I, just a Zoom. Just I do have to say, and just switching gears for just a minute, I just want to say thank you again for hosting the graduation oh, that you course. had this this uh that was awesome june yeah that was um, fun for i did have a graduate a fifth grade graduate who was sad that they were not going to yeah, be able to have it true. and for you to have that and of course you did the high schools warren and, congratulations on coming through the fifth grade yes <laughs> <laughs> who else sorry i had i'm to. so sorry <laughs> who else it was <laughs> Who did you have besides the high schools? Uh, and middle oh schools? boy, we had Big Hollow. Um, we had a homeschool group. Uh, they did a graduation. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the Jacobsons showed up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I apologize to those of you who are watching our show, Your Home with Brummer. <laughs> Jokes is gone. Oh, um, but my but. <laughs> The truth is, is I, and I don't know if people don't know this because I know there was some controversy. You did not charge the schools for having no, these. No. He did this completely on his own just to give to the kids That's and to huge. the community. And I don't think that people realize how much oh, you give well, to the community you. and stuff. So as somebody on the school, um, you know, who's involved in the schools and somebody who had a graduate, thank you for doing oh, that. No, that was it was really cool. You know, the, the cool thing about that was, I, I forget what one, what one it was, uh, it was one of the grade school graduations, eighth grade graduation. And I don't remember which one it was. And I had nothing left to do. So I'm like, I'll just watch this. So it was a half hour long. And so I sat in my car next to the projection booth and I'm watching it. And all of a sudden, like 10 minutes later, I'm like, I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> These are tears. Like, I know. You know, oh man. It was so great. Like the teachers did this video and they talked about yeah. each kid. And our school, um, we and we the teachers talked about each kid, and then somebody decided to do an aerial drone of the, and had the kids' names on top of each car. They did um, poster board with your kid's name, and then they did a drone photo of all the kids' cars yeah. with their names on it for the graduation. It was just great, the creativity of people. But yeah, it was, thank no, you for doing that. I was honored to do it. I wish we had more, more days available so that we could have helped more schools out. But uh, Yeah, and yeah, I know was... you, you got a lot of flack for – for other things so thank you <laughs> yeah. for that oh, i appreciate of course. you stepping up and doing that no it was a lot of fun you are right over there no, i'm just sour. thinking if i were to buy vegetables from the little stand out front could i take those oh in? yeah yeah mm. i'll say yes that'll be all right i mean you yeah. can bring your own snacks right Oh yeah, you can. You can. Sure. No, yeah. that he makes his livelihood. Uh, yes, I mean, he I, makes his God, livelihood, but seriously. there are people Here, who you know what can't I have popcorn. There's a couple things with that. So one, <laughs> one is. Yeah, I mean, you can bring you can bring in any kind of food you want. I just yes, just buy a popcorn. If you buy one popcorn, that goes a long way. And uh, number two, or nachos with are they, so are they pre refills on the popcorn? No, Cali. no, that, no, that's okay. The, see, it's only you lose money. Yeah. So, uh, so what is the butter made out of? Is it real butter? No. Okay. Stop talking. So Stop talking. you hold up the tube, right, of a gallon of it. And you, uh, its actual name is butter flavored topping. Mm, but it's so good. It's so it, good. It is. It's, it's so, so good. good. I don't know what it is, but it is delicious. Yeah. And there, you're right. There's nothing like the nachos uh, with the jalapenos in a movie. And theater. oh, and so the thing is with the food, what I do is I like to walk the lot after everybody's lot left, and I like to see what's left, because if they're if some people are bringing in things that I don't carry, then shame on me for not having it. So I'll adjust our menu to that, carry. Huh? See, you know, uh, that's entrepreneurial. That's that beautiful. is. This you is gotta what, try. Can you imagine with six months of him thinking about what he wants? <laughs> Could be dangerous. <laughs> He's gonna toe. have like sushi. Do a chili with I'm dedicating toe. the six months to Project Black Toe, and that's. I it. mean, seriously, you could do a chili cookout. Definitely. Oh yeah, you could. Right there, so it's warm. Oh. Seriously, a chili cook-off for Black Toe. See? I think Black Toe's going to happen, actually. <laughs> I might actually. Kevin, I'm sorry. I'm taking back the right. I got <laughs> Operation Black Toe. Chili cook-off. That's so smart. Yeah. Cold, but you can still get and you going. can bring right. those portable stoves. Oh, I think that's a great idea. That's a great idea. Well, we have 
about a minute and a half left. Oh. So I know it's so Scott, fun. Scott, how do they get in touch with you if they want to know anything about, uh, of course, the theater outdoors? How do they do that? Yeah, uh, go on Facebook, McHenry Outdoor Theater dash Golden Age Cinemas, or you can find us at uh, uh, GoldenAgeCinemas.com. That's it, GoldenAgeCinemas.com. Yes. Uh, it's beautiful. Yes. Don, uh, down on Green Street, if people uh, want to move, want to get in a new house, just have questions about how they do that, do they call you? Yeah, they could call me. Uh, I, call, I call I called Don. That is true. I do have to say that Scott is a client and very happy. There goes that confidentiality. That's right. <laughs> hey, he said it first, not me. Yeah, uh, yeah. Great guest. Uh, I'd, I'd agree, Peter. Uh, you might, you might <laughs> yes. Have, Excellent show. What did he say? He made a remote HR bearable oh we miss you pete we turned off the coffee pot pete. so 847-456-6334 or bremer team 18 at gmail.com or come see me at 1218 north green street and just ignore kent jones pete, um yeah. kent how do they reach you uh you don't you really, you're better, <laughs> please you're, you're better off not he's going to be working with scott on operation yeah. black yeah we're busy we're on black tail operation that's right all right everybody thank you